So supposing we hit the body with a tremendous, uh, whether it's ultraviolet or just very powerful light, and I think you said that hasn't been checked, but you're going to test it. And then I said, supposing you brought the light inside the body, you can, which you can do either through the skin or uh, in some other way. And I think you said you're going to test that, too. Sounds interesting. We'll the right, folks who could. right. And then I see the disinfectant, where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that uh, by injection inside or, or almost a cleaning? Because you see it gets on the lungs, and it does a tremendous number of the lungs. So it'd be interesting to check that. So that you're going to have to use medical doctors with. But it sounds, it sounds interesting to me. I would like you to speak to the medical doctors to see if there's any way that you can apply light and heat to cure. You know, if you could. And maybe you can, maybe you can't. Again, I say maybe you can, maybe you can't. I'm not a doctor. But I'm like a person that has a good, you know what. But, sir, uh, you're the president. Deborah, have you ever heard of that? Uh, the uh, heat and the light relative to certain viruses, yes, but relative to this virus? Not as a treatment. I mean, certainly fever yeah. is a good thing when you have a fever. It helps your body respond. But not as I've not seen heat or light. I, I think it's a great thing to look at. I mean, you know. Okay. Respectfully, sir, you're the president, and people tuning into these briefings, they want to get information and guidance and want to know what to do. They're hey, not looking for up, rumors. I'm the president, and you're fake news.